Happy on Brew Wednesday, guys. Just finished some brewing. Um, today we've done a we've done a um, another batch of cider. So what I've been wanting to do uh, is obviously an all grain or a partial extract, um, but seems that finances aren't allowing me to get the equipment together that I'm going to need. You know, for instance, I'm going to need to make a wart chiller and other accessories. So. I decided to stick to the kits this week, and obviously I don't want to run out of beer, so I've brewed myself an EDME German Lager, which I've done in the past. Not my favourite, but uh, a lot of my mates rate it, you know, people think it's a good lager. And then we've uh, tried again with the apple juice, you know, the, the cider from apple juice. So this time round, I've actually brought the whole batch of 21 litres of apple juice up to, um, I think it was 65 degrees C, between 65 and 70 degrees C, and I kept it there for 30 minutes to try and pasteurise the whole batch, added the sugar as well, uh, just a kilogram of um, brewing sugar dextrose. That's gone in there, so this time hopefully we're going to avoid any uh, vinegary infections that should happen which obviously I think ruined my last batch I mean it, it might have aged it might have been alright but there was definitely a hint of vinegar in there I wasn't keen on it so this time round like I said we've pasteurized it it sat down here next to the lager and we're just waiting I've got some yeast that was washed from my original first batch I did two lots, uh, this is the second lot that's going to go in, it's like a champagne yeast, cider yeast. I'm uh, just waiting for it to cool down a little bit, but it is sealed and it's on an airlock so nothing should be able to get in. Uh, because of the wet, humid weather we're having, I've noticed a lot of fruit flies around, especially, especially lurking around my taps. So I'm having to keep on top of, you know, cleaning this up and sanitising it and making sure nothing gets in there because if those fruit flies get in there then they're just going to ruin the batch again and you know fair enough last time I've yeah, took uh, the process of trying to freeze distill it so I've got I've managed to salvage the majority of the alcohol out of the last batch of cider but still I'd rather be drinking cider than apple jack so that's what I've been doing today we've got the cider on We've got the EDME German Lager on, and then also, uh, two weeks ago, I brewed a couple of Cooper's Lager kits, two of them, and an Australian Pale Ale. So, the Cooper's Lagers have been chilling, and they've been under pressure, I've had them on gas, for about two weeks now, and... Uh, one of them's on, there's one of them, still not cleared out 100% but you know every day it's getting better. I mean it's coming on, it's getting there, it looks, in fact that's a, that's a slightly better pint than the first one I pulled, this is only my second beer today. Um, the cerveza is gone, my little Mexican cerveza label that I knocked up there, so every time I'm going to put a cerveza on, you know, I've got these little labels to stick on the pump so we know what we've got. So yeah, we've still got the original Super Strength Cider, and we've got Cooper's Lager on there. But what I did was put the uh, Australian Pale Ale, you know, I do digress sometimes, put the Australian Pale Ale into one of these. Now, where... Uh, that was then sat in the fridge for two weeks in there, just chilling down and all the yeast had dropped out of it and you could see, even though I'd wrapped it off the sediment after primary fermentation, it, and I thought, you know, that, that's the job done. There was loads of yeast still in there, still in suspension, obviously by cold crashing it like that in the fridge, it's been down to about four degrees. All the yeast has dropped out, so today, 
because I've drank my cerveza and I've got an empty corny keg, that Australian pale ale's gone in there and that's going to be pressurised. So uh, that's what I've been up to today. Um, I don't know how far we're going to get next week with doing a partial brew, a uh, partial extract brew. Um, I suspect it's not going to happen for a month or so. So um, if I do any brewing next week, then it will be um, kit orientated. Or, oh, that's the point. I've done another batch of the wine. Now I did the white wine from Grape Juice, which you've seen on uh, a couple of my videos. So yeah, it's been a real success. Everybody loves it. So we've got another batch of that on the go. Um, what else are we doing? Yeah. So I might do another kit of that next week. Well, it's not a kit. It's just from Grape Juice and I add the rest. In fact, it hardly needs anything. Just a bit of sugar and a good yeast. And then we've been stopping it um, with potassium sorbate. Just so, you know, we don't get a completely dry side uh, wine. And yeah, it's been a real hit. So I'll just show you these two, uh, two brews that we've got down here. I mean, I'm sure you can just see them there. So that one in the green lid is the EDME Super Brew German Style Lager. And the one in, with the airlock on is the, uh, the cider. So yeah, as soon as that gets down to pitching temperature, you know, we'll pop the yeast in there. Uh, they'll be ready to rock and roll. Hopefully they'll be ready next week to rack off the sediment and we'll let him sit for another couple of weeks, I think, in a secondary just to help clear it. Probably put some findings in there as well. But the beer, this German Super Brew, I mean, it's not to everyone's taste. Uh, but it, everyone seems to, you know, all my mates seem to like it. I mean, there's been a few iffy reviews on YouTube about it, but I think it's a good brew, you know. You don't have to do anything to the kit. I'd, re I'd not recommend using normal sugar. I'd definitely say go with the dextrose. It just helps it give a bit more body to the brew. Otherwise, you can find it a bit thin. But, yeah, I'll just end up rambling on here. You know, I don't want to go over 10 minutes if possible, so happy on Brew Wednesday, guys. I uh, look forward to watching all your videos. I'm enjoying them every week, so don't stop. Um, and I'll see you next on Brew Wednesday, if uh, not before. Cheers. <laughs>